Hello, class 12th physics, questions from ray optics uh, for boards as well as for competitive exams. Before uh, I start today's question, uh, here we have this uh, diagram showing refraction. There is a transparent medium of refractive index eta. There is another medium. In fact, uh, this medium has a refractive index eta 2 and this medium has a refractive index eta 1. So, uh, we know Snell's law. So, it is simply sin theta 1, I am writing it theta 1 here and uh, upon sin theta 2 is equal to eta 2 1, this with respect to this, that is eta 2 upon eta 1. Uh, other than that, we can also write it like, so it is like this, uh, eta 1 sin theta 1. So, it is quite easy, uh, refractive index of that medium and angle of that medium, eta 1 sin theta 1 is equal to eta 2 sin theta 2. Again, now if this incident ray uh, is replaced by a vector um, because uh, ray has this direction so we can associate a unit vector with that and uh, here uh, it is given as i cap for incidence it is not that x y z uh, axis type uh, i cap so this i cap uh, for incident ray this is a unit vector n cap normal to the surface r cap minus n cap for other side right now i'm not showing why i'm doing this but we can instead of writing this sine theta 1 we can write cross product of unit vector now understand this fact unit vector associated with this incident ray maybe they will give vector but we have to consider unit vector. Cross multiply, this is not a simple multiplication, remember that class 11th concept, cross multiplication and cross multiply with, this is not a refractive index, this is n, normal vector, normal to that surface and this is equal to refractive index eta 2, no, and sine theta 2 uh, and in place of sine theta 2 we will write this unit vector associated with refracted ray r cross n so uh, you might wonder that uh, uh, it was minus n cap negative of normal vector but i haven't taken it as negative if i would take it as negative see what hap what is happening this vector and that vector so i have to take it not like this instead pointing away now it is minus i cap so actually it is minus i cap cross n cap is equal to eta 2 r cap and minus n cap cap also so minus minus will get cancelled and what we will get from this we will get this so uh, no need to do such thing uh, we now understood that uh, we don't require this type of working uh, we don't require to change its direction we don't require to show this only what we have to do is we have to take unit vector of that incident uh, uh, ray vector uh, vector associated to incident ray and its unit vector and we have to take cross multiplication with n cap and similarly unit vector associated with refracted uh, ray its unit vector and uh, again cross multiplication with that unit vector uh, along normal so in both the cases you uh, need not to worry about the direction and all just understand this fact in, in the place of sine theta 1 you can directly write unit vector of this cross multiply by unit vector of this and for other side unit vector of this cross multiply by unit vector of this now we can uh, solve today's questions so i am skipping this question i am starting from seventh uh, each quarter of a vessel of depth h is filled with liquid of refractive index eta 1 eta 2 eta 3 eta 4 from bottom respectively the apparent depth is so, 
here it is eta 1 eta 2 eta 3 eta 4 and each has depth h by 4 each i'm not writing it and we know that uh, real depth upon apparent depth is equal to refractive index and if i uh, readjust it apparent depth equal to real depth upon eta and for each one like for first one ad1 uh, real depth upon eta1 real depth is h by uh, 4 upon eta1 similarly apparent depth 2 will be h by 4 by eta2 and so on i'm not writing that so net apparent depth is sum of all of these h by 4 upon eta1 plus h by 4 upon eta2 and so on so i hope uh, rest of it you can do easily ray of light passes through four transparent media of refractive indices mu1 mu2 mu3 mu4 if emergent ray cd is parallel to ab then actually uh, directly we can answer it uh, we know through a glass slab uh, whatever angle is there if it emerges into same medium then uh, this angle is equal to this angle incident angle equal to emergent angle and they are parallel to each other so what is uh, the same thing is happening here so directly we can say mu1 is equal to mu4 but uh, if we further want a mathematical explanation for this then uh, we will follow that uh, snell's law in modified form like this mu1 sin theta1 i'm writing it sin theta1 whatever angle here is equal to mu2 sin theta2 angle of refraction and what, whatever be the angle of refraction here will be the angle of incidence for next so mu2 sin oh god sin theta2 for this interface is equal to mu3 sin theta3 and for this interface now theta3 theta3 actually this angle is so acute uh, i wasn't able to show you actually but you can understand that sin theta3 equal to mu4 sin theta4 and now as you can see this equal to this this further equals to this because because of this so all these are equal so mu1 sin theta1 is equal to mu4 sin theta 4 and we know that uh, because it is given cd is parallel to ab it means theta 1 is equal to theta 4 so sin theta 1 is equal to sin theta 4 and this implies mu 1 equal to mu 4 i am skipping ninth uh, okay 10 a ray of light strikes a transparent rectangular slab of refractive index root 2 at an angle 45 degree uh, find the angle between reflected and refracted oh from where this reflected come okay so here it is air not given so it is air and uh, this is another medium this is glass of refractive index eta so this is angle of incidence at 45 degree i equal to 45 degree and see actually what happens in actual practices uh, some of the part get reflected and rest of the part get refracted that's important so uh, just remember that so a small part is reflected and uh, another part is refracted so actually we uh, have to find angle between reflected and refracted ray. this angle we require to find so what will we do the whole idea is find this angle angle of refraction first find angle of refraction so directly snell's law sine i that is sine 45 upon sine r that is sine r is equal to eta which is root 2 so sine r is equal to sine 45 upon root 2 and sine 45 is 1 by root 2 that will be uh, this implies that sine r is 1 by 2 so r is equal to 30 degree it means this is 30 degree now if this is 30 degree so this is 60 degree this is 45 degree so this is 45 degree and if this is 45 degree so also this is 45 degree so it's a simple problem now if i cap denote unit factor along incident light okay i'll draw this okay so this time i is not uh, showing uh, angle of incidence but a unit vector indicating along this direction and r is unit vector along refracted ray here it is of refractive index eta so it is understood that here refractive index is one that is air or vacuum n cap this is not eta this is n n cap is unit vector normal to the boundary of medium directed toward incident medium so here it is this is normal actually unit vector along the normal away from the surface okay so remember one thing one fact to be noted that uh, as we know this angle is theta 1 this angle is theta 2 i am not writing i and r for the same so refractive index of this side that is 1 multiplied by sine of angle associated 
with this medium is equal to reflective index of other medium multiplied by sign of angle associated with that region okay this can also be written as unit vector in this region and cross multiplied with n cap and that is equal to eta refractive in, um, uh, unit vector for refracted ray cross multiplied by n cap so this is what we have discussed earlier uh, and now just uh, we have to just take the correct answer now here so just keep this in your mind and to apply this concept we have another question so from now onward remember this is also the form of Snell's law uh, and I repeat this is unit vector along incident ray and this is unit vector along refracted ray so here let x y plane okay this is x y plane uh, be the boundary between two media means there is one medium and there is other medium here it is eta 1 and on inside it there is so it is x y so this is z so on that side it is eta 2 um, this eta 1 medium uh, has refractive index root 2 and here it is root 3 so incident ray may be coming anyway in which way uh, that's not sure and that is not required also what is required uh, we require unit vector for this incident ray so in order to find a unit vector what we uh, do this is a unit vector equal to vector a upon magnitude a 6 root 3 i cap plus 8 root 3 j cap minus 10 k cap upon magnitude mod of this mod of this I, I will be fine uh, squaring all of them adding taking root so I hope you people know this root magnitude is something like this so when you will solve it and find magnitude so you will get 20 uh, well uh, if you understood this uh, you can calculate it mentally only uh, so here it is now okay that Snell's law that modified Snell's law eta 1 and then uh, incident n cap equal to eta 2 that refracted n cap now uh, eta 1 is root 2 i cap incident incident vector incident unit vector this is incident unit vector which is 6 root 3 i cap plus 8 root 3 j cap minus 10 k cap upon 20 and cross multiplied with n cap now what is n cap here so you can see n cap is normal to this x y plane which is z so n cap is actually along z axis that is k cap unit vector along z axis is k cap so it is cross multiplied k cap and that is equal to eta 2 here we don't know we, we don't know uh, uh, vector for refracted ray so what i am going to do i am expanding it simply expanding it magnitude of this multiplied by magnitude of this one and multiplied by sine of angle between them so what is the angle between them uh, that is that is what we have to find angle of refraction i am simply writing it theta 2 and remember there is a unit vector also which makes it a vector because it is a vector product so i am simply writing some c cap it is a unit vector which is showing cross product of both of them now more detail um, i will put uh, a link in the description about this uh, by which you can un deeply understand this cross product and all all the mechanism behind it so now uh, okay instead of writing eta 2 oh, it is good to write root 3 okay now cross multiplication so i cross k is minus j so it will be minus 6 root 3 j cap and j cross k is i plus 8 root 3 i cap and minus k cross k is 0 so i'm not writing it upon 20 and this is equal to root 3 this is one this is one unit vectors sine theta we have to find it 2 and some c cap which is unknown okay and now we will take modulus both sides take mod its mod will be square of this that is 108 plus square uh, of this that is 192 uh, and its root where this negative has gone so actually when we 
take uh, modulus we do square of entire thing other than this unit vector so just revise little bit about uh, mechanism behind this cross multiplication and all uh, okay so here it is and c uh, magnitude of c is one so it is also gone and uh, now you can solve it and you can find sine theta i'm not telling you that's all